Good morning, Oluchi. And it's so good to see you. And, and there you are, Joe. Good to see you. Good morning. Good to see you too. <laughs> so let's begin with trend wave today. So my first trend wave for today will begin in Nigeria. River State precisely, where the governor of the state, Yesom Wike, has given an order for the ban of nightclubs and prostitution in the state. He gave this order in his New Year broadcast in Port Harcourt on Saturday, where he banned these nightclub activities, including nighttime trading and street prostitution, especially along Abacha Road and surrounding streets in an area known as Casablanca. According to Wike, this move will stop the harmful effect of these depraved activities on the moral development of the children and society at large. But while this might seem like a good move, a good cause, it leaves me asking some questions like, if they are banning this, uh, if they're banning clubs, if they're banning um, prostitution, is this sustainable? And why are they focusing on only an area? Are they going to also, you know, let this extend to other, other um, parts of the state? And also, are there provisions, you know, for people? Are there provisions for these nightclub owners? Are there provisions for these sex workers, you know, seeing that aside from our reasons, they are not precisely causing any harm, you know? Um, I'm going to ask you, Joe and Oluchi. Actually, Lizzie, what I mean, I, I've, I've been to that area in Port Harcourt. It's, it's a notorious area. I mean, Casablanca. Okay, Casablanca in particular. Whoa! I dread going there. In fact, I don't wow. even go there at night time. I go wow. there during the day, and there's still mayhem that happens there during wow. the day. So, But I don't know how sustainable yes. this band will be. I mean, talking about the nightclubs, because mm. Potakot and the nightlife, they're synonymous. I mean, I've never seen them ever separated. Before. It makes me but, ask the question, like, what's the plan they have for these businesses? If you're taking these people out of businesses, which he has already stated that, you know what, they are setting up a task force for people that will want to violate this, you know, this new rule. So I'm wondering, what's the next plan for them, especially seeing that his office is, it just has less than two years left for him to be in office. So I'm asking, will his successor be able to keep this up? Well, he, he's the governor. He's the governor of the state. So um, he, I think he decides uh, what is best, what is best uh, for the, uh, uh, his people. So he's made the choice. He said this should take place. Um, Hopefully, let's see if they will keep to it. I, mean, I, I believe I believe that he must have made provision for those people who are doing legitimate jobs and have legitimate businesses that were mm, you believe. Out. Mm. Mm. Okay. But yeah. well, let's check out some of the comments that have trailed this post ever since. Eldera says, why nightclubs? That doesn't disturb anyone. So what if, what of the other people that eat from the nightclub business? That's what Eldera has to say about that. And also that one says that that is undemocratic. What, uh, what nonsense. It says that clubs and the rest are what makes a city to be what it is, contributing to the socioeconomic development of the state. You can't make decisions with sentiment. That's how he feels about that. And that one also says, I think he's making sense, but Port Harcourt people won't like it. They go find another route. Well, I agree with that one. And that's one from Governor's Cousin. Governor's Cousin says, my governor, you know show love will. <laughs> and then, well, that's how people are reacting to this. There have been loads and loads of reactions about this. But one thing I can say for sure is that the people are not taking this with open arms. Now, there's this particular video which has been making the rounds on social media. And it's a video which was posted by a YouTuber popularly known as Delicious Foods. Her name also is Winifred Emanuel. She is known to share meal and dining etiquette. And she shared this on her page on the do's and don'ts on chivalry especially when it comes to opening doors. And this video has left loads of people talking. I'm talking about men and women. Let's take a look at it. You can tell that I like that. So according to according to Winifred, <laughs> according to Winifred, you don't sit before a lady. You take out a seat and make sure she's settled in. 
before you sit as a gentleman. But people are asking questions like, who makes these rules? What happened to the woman's hand? What if she's the one in front? Why do we have to do all these things, you know? But I'm seeing you, Joe, and Oluchi. I think you have something to say about this. Well, um, I can just say <laughs> this, that uh, what works in the West um, may, the West. May, may likely stay in the West. Mm. No, no we stand in. I mean, I, I'm a perfect gentleman, no doubt. Wow. And I know Oluchi is also, uh, well, I can't speak for her. Wow. But it, there are certain things that you must do. I mean, opening the doors for your lady, getting a seat for her, that's right. But I have a feeling that some of the comments that you would share with us now, I think they will have a, a, a different opinion. People on definitely this went on the road. So let's check out <laughs> some of these comments that people have made about this. Now, that's one from Omotai of Lagos. It says, there's no manual or rules to what is wrong or right in a relationship. It's perfectly fine if your man is willing to open the door for you to pass. That doesn't mean that those that are not opening the door are wrong. If a man must open the door for his woman to pass, then the woman too should do the same. That's how Omotayo feels about this. <laughs> that one is from Dauntless. Dauntless says, LOL, ladies are determining what should be expected of gentlemen. It's the audacity for me. Do men set standards for you on how to be a lady? All these things we copy from the West. I'll do it if I feel like it, or I'm in an environment where it is culture. You have hands that work. Wow, that's serious. Wow, wow, wow. Now that one is from your father's mate. Your father's mate says, women are strong and independent. Opening a door is indirectly insulting our strength as a woman, likewise pulling out a chair. Stop the toxic masculinity and let women do things for themselves. Wow. Wow. That one is from Vivi. Vivi says, there is absolutely nothing wrong with a woman having this as a standard when selecting women. People, entitled their, uh, people are entitled to their standard. If she wants chivalry, then give her that or leave her alone. That's how the mm. comments are looking. There are definitely loads and loads of comments. People are divided. But I will tell you what, most of what people are saying, even women, people are saying, mm, is it really necessary? Is, you know, there, is, there, is, there any, is there any, is there any rules? Um, I mean, even from the holy book, I'm just asking you, that says, you know, you just have to do this uh, for her. Uh, like one of the comments, uh, one of the commenters said, I mean, she has her hands. So she can do it herself. No, I mean, but, but oh, Joe, I mean, it's just a gentleman. Thing one of the other comments do. we even read was talking about the act was even wondering if men set standards for women. But men do set standards for women. And what are some of the standards? Say, oh, also, I mean, there are some men that will tell you, oh, this is the kind of person they want. That's a standard they're setting out there. Yeah, everybody yeah, has I mean, standards. That, yeah. That's a standard that some people put out there. I think, so, I'm, I think I'm going to be divided. I mean, do men set standards for you on how to be a lady? Of course. With really? a big mind today, yes. Really? <gasps> I think at the end of the day, most of this standard, if you, if you, most of this etiquette, at the end of the day, it's always women putting them out. So, 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 so let me say this quickly: there are differences, or there's a big difference between etiquette, etiquette and standard. And standard, yes. Yes. Yeah, so, so for instance, you you might like someone who is uh, uh, tall, dark, and handsome. That's not etiquette. No, that's the standard. That's for a you. standard. Tall, dark, and handsome. Someone yes. else might like someone who is light skinned, not tall. But of course, muscular. Yes. But the etiquette is okay. Just I want brush someone your teeth that when you wake up. Take out the chair and walk like a lady when you walk. Mm -hmm. Dog walk, cat walk. Breakfast walk. in bed is what? Is it a? Is it an etiquette or? Abba. That's well, a standard. We'll, we'll leave Come that. On. Ah, Lizzie. We'll oh, drink bro. to that and tell you thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Lizzie. <laughs> it's always a pleasure, Joe.